I'm impressed, Agent Archer. I expected that promoting you to field operations would be disastrous, but I never imagined a catastrophe of these proportions. You've now managed to botch two high-profile, high-stakes missions. Care to explain? I did my best under the circumstances. Well, now that we've seen you at your best, I'm not sure we can afford to see you on an off day. Now, now, Mr. Smith, we've had a few setbacks. A, a few setbacks? Agent Archer, I must confess that I'm troubled by the results we've seen from you thus far. But I also realize that you've been thrust into some formidable situations. Thank you, sir. Don't thank me yet. It's quite probable that things will get worse before they get better. I don't see how that's possible. Did you get a look at your assailant? Aye, that I did. Did you recognize him? Sergeant Magnus Armstrong, born in Glasgow, Scotland, 1925. Frequently in trouble as a lad due to a penchant for fighting. By all accounts, he was a good-natured, likable young man. Never bullied anybody, only picked fights with boys that were game for a brawl. Got kicked out of several schools before his parents finally stuck him in a military academy. During the war, he served as a sapper in France and Germany. Everything from mine removal to demolitions and sabotage. Earned himself quite a reputation for his reckless antics. The most popular legend had to do with a bridge he allegedly crippled with nothing but a shovel and a hand grenade. A German supply train did the rest. When it reached the weakened section of the bridge, the whole structure came crashing down. It's a shame this chap ended up on the wrong side of the law. To the best of our knowledge, he's never been involved in anything this big before. Most of his arrests since returning from the war have been related to public brawling. Any theories on why he didn't simply shoot you when he had the chance? I'll be sure to ask him when I bring him in. That's assuming you get the opportunity. She just might. We may have a lead. This morning, West German custom officials in Hamburg discovered several suspicious-looking chemical containers aboard a Finnish cargo freighter. Fortunately, these chaps decided to inform us rather than seizing the contraband outright, which gives us a chance to conduct a covert investigation. You believe this is the link to Dr. Schenker? It could well be. If so, given the specific chemicals found aboard the freighter, it's a fairly safe bet the kidnappers are not only aware of Dr. Schenker's research, but also determined to capitalize upon it. If our theories are correct, the kidnappers are in Hamburg or will be arriving shortly. A good spy could find them. Fortunately, we're sending a good spy on this mission. You'll be working with him. A new partner? More like a supervisor. An American named Thomas Goodman. Perhaps you've heard of him. Aye, but I thought he was killed in Amsterdam. Nearly. He's a resourceful chap, though. He did a daring escape on a stolen bicycle with half the Dutch police force in hot pursuit and KGB agents waiting in ambush around every corner. Smashing story. I'm sure he'll recount it if you ask him. At any rate, you're to rendezvous with him in Germany and see what the two of you can dig up. You'll take your orders directly from him during this mission. Thank God. Very good, sir. Thank you. Agent Archer? Yes, sir. What was it like falling out of that plane? I promised to tell you about it sometime. I tell you she's a liability. Perhaps, but I'm not convinced yet. What will it take to convince you? How many more catastrophes must we suffer through? Because keeping her on the active list will lead to further disasters. Of that, I'm certain. Yes, I can see that you are. Our purpose is to preserve freedom, to protect innocent lives, to combat evil wherever it manifests. We can't afford to tolerate anything that stands in the way of that goal. The girl may be spirited, but she's virtually incompetent. I admire your sense of duty, but I question your judgment. I can't say that at my prime I would have performed any better than she under the circumstances. You're assuming her reports are entirely genuine. Personally, I wouldn't be at all surprised to learn that she'd colored the facts. The bloody things read like adventure novels. So now you're indicting her credibility? Does that seem unreasonable? The girl was a thief, for goodness sakes. A little skepticism seems prudent. I'll take it under advisement. Look, it's not too late to pull her off the assignment. I've read the American's file. 
He's perfectly capable of handling an operation like this on his own. Probably so. But I have the strangest feeling a woman's touch is exactly what we need on this one. I can't argue with you when you're like this. No, you can't. I hope you realize you're letting yourself be ruled by intuition. Reason tends to make a far more reliable counselor. You might ruminate on that adage yourself. Huh. Hmm. How am I going to get in there? I demand to be let in. I'm sorry. That's impossible. But my girlfriend is inside. I understand that, but they can't let you in. Can I at least go find her? Sadly, no. Why not? Because the club is full. Nobody else is allowed. Well, can you go find her for me? I must stay here. Then can you send someone to find her? Everyone is busy. You will just have to wait. I want to speak to someone in charge. As I said, everyone is busy. If you come back tomorrow after 10 a.m., perhaps you can speak with someone then. But my girlfriend is in there now. Perhaps you should have come together. Then you would not be in this situation, and I would not have to listen to you shouting at me. I'm just getting warmed up. It's not my fault that you're out here and she is in there. It is your fault. She is your girlfriend. You should have known better than to ask her to wait for you inside a club that is known to fill up every single night. Can I please just go and find her? I said no, and I meant it. Now go away, or I will call the police. Schweinhund. Scheiß cough. Hey, baby. Want is it dance? always as crowded? Yeah. The place fills up every night. People come for the music. Do you think they'll let us in? I doubt it. I have to get in there. Really? Well, let me help you. I'll distract the bouncer so you can climb in through that window. Watch out for the camera, though. Thanks. My pleasure. Have fun. Hello, big boy. Well, hello there. It sure is crowded tonight. It usually is. This place is very popular. You must meet a lot of pretty girls. Yes, but rarely do I meet enchanting ones. You're teasing. I don't know. Excuse me. This is all I have time for this evening. Thank you, thank you. Perhaps I will sing for you later. What is so important you need to interrupt me in the middle of a performance? You know how these people treasure my concerts. Now they will lament. Das tut mir leid, Fräulein Wagner. Of course, if they are sad, they will buy more drinks to drown their sorrows, which is good for business. But it troubles me to know that someone is unhappy because I was unable to give enough of myself. A gift like mine comes with terrible responsibility, you know. Yeah, and you have so much of yourself to give. Even such pathetic, horrible creatures as these smelly beatniks deserve some sympathy, yeah? Now then, perhaps you will care to remind me why I am talking instead of singing. Fräulein Wagner, the super spy is here. What should we do? So, the fly has rung the doorbell of the spider. You did the right thing. Let her have a few drinks. Then she goes to the water closet. Grab her and bring her to me. Am I understood? Jawohl. Good. Watch her closely. She is not to leave under any circumstances. It will be done as you have asked. If you succeed, perhaps I will be convinced to sing for you. Would you like that? Very much so, Fräulein Wagner. It would be a great honor. Then make me happy. When I am happy, I sing like a night and gale in springtime.
I love your outfit. I do too. Can I talk you out of it? <laughs> Leave me alone! These cramps are killing me. I wonder where my boyfriend is. He asked me to meet him here. Perhaps it's just me, but I thought the music was terrible. How can you say that? It's unconventional. This club is super groovy. Don't you think so? It's not compelling, it's just bad. The show ended early tonight. I hope there's another set later. Would you care for a light? Thanks, but I don't smoke. You're holding a cigarette. Am I? Well, what do you know? I guess old habits die hard. Say, can I borrow a dime? I want to call my mom and tell her I just met the girl of my dreams. I gave my last dime to a worthwhile charity. Ouch. I wasn't expecting a woman. You weren't briefed. They just said meet Agent Archer at 8 p.m. Well, I'm Agent Archer. So I gathered. Didn't the code phrase tip you off? I thought it was a little unusual, but I figured, hey, it's Europe. Things are different over here. Scotch and soda. Will you have a drink? Old granddad, bring the bottle, a tumbler, and a bowl of ice. Goodness, are you celebrating? Compensating, actually. How sad for you. So tell me, Ms. Archer. Oh, now don't start with that. What? There's no need to patronize me. Was I patronizing you? Yes, you were. Well, I'm sorry, but I didn't realize I was going to have to babysit on this assignment. I may be a woman, but that doesn't mean I can't take care of myself. Oh, I get it. You're one of those women's livers. Dress up in men's clothing, ride motorcycles, smoke cigars, that kind of thing. Just because I can take care of myself doesn't mean I'm not a woman. They're not mutually exclusive, you know. But isn't the point of women's liberation to allow young ladies like yourself to become men? The point is to allow young ladies to become whatever they please. Ouch. Well, if you're as deadly with a pistol as you are with your tongue, you can watch both our backs. All right, I will. So what's the plan? Well, the first thing is to find out who the goon is. Excuse me? You're being watched. If you can lure him someplace quiet, I'll jump him and find out what he's after. That's very noble of you, but I think I can handle that little fella. Suit yourself. Where should I ambush him? Try the ladies' room. What? You think he'll follow me into the Louvre? Heck yeah, look at him. He's concentrating so hard on not being noticed, he'd probably follow you into heavy traffic without a second thought. Anyway, you'll certainly be justified interrogating him, won't you? I'd be justified in doing worse than that. Just make sure you question him first. I'll be waiting by the stage. 
Be wary of the operetta. It's a bit enthusiastic. I can take it. Ow! Looking for someone? My life. Just keep your head down till this is over. What's going on? What was that noise? Maybe I just heard things. Who is this here? Did you find out anything? I was ambushed before I could question the bastard. You okay? I suppose, although I think someone might have tried to drug me. Something stung the back of my neck as I was heading for the ladies' room. Might have been a dart. How do you feel now? Not bad. Meet me at this address in one hour. Why not go together? I want to poke around and see who these people are. They may be linked to harm. 
Are you sure it's safe? Hell no. It's reckless and dumb, but that's not gonna stop me. Well, good luck then. What should I do if you don't make it? Don't worry, doll. I'll make it. If you say so. Head backstage. A friend of mine's waiting in the alley. He'll get you out of here. Just tell him you're with me. You think he'll believe me? He will if you tell him my code name. I don't know your code name. Bold Eagle. <laughs> Good God. What's so funny? Nothing. See you later, Bold Eagle. Not if I see you first. Okay. I guess I'll have to improvise. What's in all those kegs anyway? Meet again. 